Good morning. No, it's not morning, it's evening. Good evening. Welcome to the latest episode of eatmoreheat.com product reviews stuff. I'm your host, James Beck, and today we're going to be reviewing an interesting new product called Jalapeno Relish, made by a company called Downright Incredible, or DRI. Okay, that was enough of my game show voice. Yeah, so uh, kind of an interesting product today, Jalapeno Relish. Now, I don't know if you've ever seen Jalapeno Relish before. I haven't. This is the first time. And we're doing this as part of our Texas Food Tuesday review. That's right. This product right here, let me hold up, get a little closer. Probably still can't see it, but downright incredible is available on texasfood.com. So if you want to get this product, then you need to go to texasfood.com and buy it. So I don't have a story on this. I really don't know anything about it other than it's jalapeno relish. And it's kind of looks like salsa, kind of has a consistency of salsa. So, best place to start is to sample the product. Oh, wow. Woo, boy, I thought I was going to be able to open the jar. <laughs> Talk about losing your masculinity on camera. That would have sucked. So, um, I can, it smells like jalapenos. Looks like jalapenos. Must be jalapenos. It smells pretty good. Has a nice jalapeno y aroma. Let's try it. Interesting, because it tastes just like you would think a, a sweet relish would. Like, basically, if you took this. If you took like a sweet relish recipe, like a sweet pickle relish recipe, and just did all the ingredients like you would a sweet relish, but then just substituted jalapenos for pickles, and you can tell that, I'll, uh, I'll take a picture of this so you can see it, you can tell that this is like, they, these are whole jalapenos in here, the seeds and everything, and the flavor is very distinct, it's pretty good as well, uh, but yeah, sweet relish, throw in the jalapenos, bam! You got it. For fire, I almost want to give it a mild, but I guess for for some for those of you who don't have as much tolerance for chili peppers, I'll give it a medium. So, two of these up here. I'm getting kind of nonchalant about it if you haven't noticed. And there's not a lot to to really build on with that, they're jalapenos. They're, in the grand scheme of things, they're really not that hot, so and they don't add anything extra. I mean, the ingredients are jalapenos, vinegar, sugar, and salt. No rocket science there. As far as flavor goes, I like the chunky consistency of the jalapenos. That's pretty cool. I think I'm going to have to go three of these and give it a nominal rating. And now you have to understand, nominal is not bad. You know, the definition of the word nominal is like, you know, up to expectations. So I'm going to have to give it three of these and go nominal. I'm not a huge fan of it, but it's not bad. I mean, I could see where you could use this like at a party, especially now, the holidays coming up, Christmas party. Could be a good little uh, condiment you could throw out there, maybe a dip. Um, I could, oh, you know what, this actually, perfect. This would be perfect to use in place of Rotel and make a queso with it. That would be right on because the flavor is good, but it lacks a little bit by itself. So, you throw it in there with some good cheese, and I'm not going to endorse anybody, but and uh, and melt it all up and mix it up like in a crock pot or something. 
Yeah, I'm telling you. And there's no recipe on the jar. I just thought of that right now. Like, I didn't pull that off of anything. So, don't think that I'm preparing these because I'm not. It's the first time I tried that, and I didn't think of anything before I started. In fact, I try to think about doing this as little as possible. So there. So yeah, medium, fire, nominal flavor. Uh, it's busy day, texasfood.com. Go check them out. They've got over 300 products that are from Texas-based companies meaning that every single product is made here in the great state of Texas. And if you didn't know, I'm from Texas, born and raised, native Houstonian. And some parts of the country, you probably see that as a downside, but around here, it's a good thing. So definitely check it out. If this isn't uh, to your fancy, there's plenty of other stuff and it's not all hot and spicy. And we'll be doing this every single Tuesday. So. Be sure to check back regularly because we'll have a whole variety of products. I've got things from pasta to crackers to brownies to sauces to salsas, uh, you name it. So uh, we are we have no shortage of things to review when it comes to old Texas Food Tuesday. So check this one out yourself. See what you think. Uh, after you get it, leave us some comments. Tell us what you, your thoughts about it. Tell me if you think I'm don't know what I'm talking about or anything else. I appreciate constructive criticism. Actually, I appreciate destructive criticism too. If you want to razz me or heckle me, whatever, go ahead. I, I, I'd probably laugh harder than you will when you post it. So, um, Other than that, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for checking us out.